Hi everybody! I am so excited to be coming at you today with a brand new pumpkin spice latte inspired look. I've had a lot of requests to be doing the new Chroma Fusion eyeshadows and also a new updated pumpkin spice latte look using the new Chroma Fusion eyeshadows. And so today I thought I'd come on. I got out of the shower. I was getting ready and I was like, hey, here's a perfect chance to do this. I went ahead and I recorded a tutorial for you all using some of my favorite colors and I hope that you enjoy. I will say that this is not an everyday look for me. I typically sport daily coffee, CC cream, and leggings. <laughs> but I still think that it is easy enough and basic enough that we can do, you know, if we have a date night out or if we have some sort of event that we're going to. And so even for those of you watching her like, oh, I don't like to wear a lot of stuff or I wouldn't do this on the daily, guess what girlfriends, neither would I. Um, I tried to keep it still pretty simple, but just up the glam a little bit. Hey, if you're somebody that wants to wrap this on the daily, I think that's awesome too. If you want to see how to get this pumpkin spice latte, latte, <laughs> fall inspired look, then you definitely want to keep watching. One thing I just wanted to talk about is this new foundation. Since I've done a video, this has launched and it's absolutely amazing. It's full coverage, but it's not like terrifying full coverage. I really like it because I still feel like I am myself when I wear it. So one thing with these new foundations, I just want to tell you really quickly, a little hot tip for you, is they come with like either a C, a W, or an N in front of a certain number. The C stands for cool, the N stands for neutral, the W stands for warm. So how do you know which one you are? If you are somebody that tans really easily, you're probably a warm, so you want to stick with the W's. If you're somebody that burns and then tans, you're probably a neutral. And if you're somebody that burns, 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 you're probably a cool. So that's one really easy way for you to tell which one you are. So I'm going to do primer. I'm going to do 3D foundation. I'm going to do a concealer or under eye corrector, depending on what type of day it is. Some days I need both. And then I am going to finish it with dusting on some translucent powder over top. That is my super simple base and I tend to do that almost on a daily basis. The only difference might be that instead of this, I'm using a CC cream. Woo! All right, so my base is finished. Next thing that I'm going to do is my brows. Hey eyebrows, how are you doing? Seriously, just use this brow tint. That is all I use on my eyebrows. They, This one is in dark blonde and it volumizes. It keeps them like in place, in check and I don't know, super quick and easy to use. So I'm like a huge fan of that. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go into our eyes. Okay, so the colors we're gonna be using today out of the Chroma Fusion line are Biscotti, which looks like that, it's beautiful matte, and Cinnabar, which looks like that, and Shiny Penny. Woo! And we are gonna be using some of this gold status too super pretty. So, Biscotti, Cinnabar, Shiny Penny, Gold Status. And like I said, we're doing a pumpkin spice look. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to put on a little bit of eye primer and then I'm going to just matte my eye. I'm just going to like blank the canvas. And that's where we're going to be using that first color that I talked about that's called Biscotti. But like I said, first I'm going to go in with some eye primer. And eye primer just basically helps keep the product in place and then it gives you like a better color payoff so you get a little bit more pigmentation. So for this, I'm just going to go in with a clean eyeshadow brush and I'm going to cover my entire lid all the way up to my eyebrow bone again with this Biscotti color. And it's just a matte light color that's going to give me a blank canvas to work with and just kind of brighten the eye area as well. Okay, next I'm going to get my crease brush and I'm going to go in with the color Cinnabar which I showed you earlier and it's kind of like this cinnamony matte color and I'm going to go ahead and put that in my crease. Now, I'm somebody who has hooded eyes. Basically what means we have this kind of like over droopy thing. <laughs> and so with hooded eyes, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the product in here and then even a little bit above the creases. So if I just put it in my creases, you won't, you won't see the color, right? This is for hooded eyes. Now, if I go a little bit above, at least then you can still see the color and build that dimension, which is kind of, I mean, the point of what I'm trying to do here. 
So I just start in the outer corner and I work my way in. Now, that's just me personally because a lot of times when you go in, you lay down, it's your kind of your hardest, most pigmented press. So you don't necessarily want to start right here and work out because you could end up like, you know, with a darker color, especially getting way too much color in here and then it darkens the eye area. So sometimes it looks like you have a black eye or something or a purple eye. So I always start out and work my way in. So you can see already that things are happening. I've got my color here. I've got my color here. I have green eyes. So this kind of cinnabar, orangey color is already making my green eyes start to pop a bit. And after I go in with shiny penny here, they're going to really be like, boom. This particular look is fantastic. If you have green eyes, it is also beautiful. And blue eyes, it'll pull out any of the green that might be in your eyes. It's great for hazel eyes. It'll pull them green. And if you have brown eyes, it'll pull out any of the green that you have in those beautiful brown eyes. Now I'm gonna go back in with my eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna use that color Shiny Penny that I showed you earlier and I'm gonna put that on my lids. And then don't be scared to blend it up into that crease color that you just did a little bit. And if you wanted even more color with this, you could lay down a little bit more primer. You could spray this with some of our finishing spray or you could just dampen it a little bit and apply it that way and that would give you even more like color pigmentation if that's what you're looking for even though the pigmentation's already like really good if you're somebody that wants a little extra flair you could do it that way as well another thing that you could do if you wanted was get like a tiny brush go in with the shiny penny color and you could run a little bit under your eyes and create almost like a pumpkin spice smoky fiery kind of autumn eye if you wanted to go the more smoky route with it you could definitely do that and have a lot of fun with that as well for today i'm going to not go that route i'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush and i'm just going to blend everything now for a little bit of drama i'm going to go in just with my ring finger i'm going to go into that color i showed you called gold status and i'm just going to dab a little bit on the centers of my eye and it will kind of like give me a little highlight it will reflect light and it will just really brighten my eye area and make this entire look pop so just dab a little bit on in the middle of the eye isn't that super cool all right, so now I'm going to do my eyeliner. You could definitely do a deep brown with this one. I think that would be really pretty, but I am going a little bit more dramatic today, so I'm gonna go ahead and with black. All right, eyeliner is on. I'm not gonna do underneath my eyes. That's just a personal preference. You definitely could. You could even do like black liner on top and then soften it a bit with brown liner underneath. If you were doing that smoky eye, I probably would recommend doing like a brown eyeliner underneath and you could kind of smoke that out with that shiny penny color and that would look really cool too. Okay, so for my eyes, you could definitely do some false eyelashes here if you wanted. I love the magnetic kind. But for me today, I'm just gonna go in with our lash primer. And then I'm going to do our lash intensity and then I'm going to do our lash love. I'm kind of a mascara fiend and I like to mink my lashes, which means kind of like mix up different mascaras with it to give kind of an overall effect. So that's what I'm going to do. Now what I'm going to do is, and I think I'm going to do a little bit of highlight up here. And I'm just going to go in with a bronzer just to kind of warm my face up a little bit. I think I'm going to just stick with highlighter and bronzer for today for something different. These illuminating drops are what I'm going to use for highlight. And I love these, you guys. If you haven't gotten these yet, run and find them and get them. They are so amazing. Not only can you mix them with your foundation for just like this super healthy glow, you can wear them on your eyes. You can also just use them as a highlight. And you can also mix it with your lotion for an overall glow on your body. It's awesome. You could definitely apply this with a brush. I'm just lazy. Okay, and now I'm going to go in into my bronzer and I'm just going to, if I can find it, I'm just going to warm up my face. I'm actually going to be using this Mary Kay at Play bronzing stick and this is, was a Canadian only product so but I have ties to Canada so. I always just kind of color in fish face and then I try to, you know, lessen what's going on up here. <laughs> I always think this is so fun, it just feels like I'm coloring the lines. And then you want to do a little on your jawline too. And then take a really stiff brush and go ahead and blend it in. You could also use a damp beauty sponge as well. Pretty amazing how it gives you those insta cheekbones, isn't it? Then I'm going to set with finishing spray. Look at my highlight. Woo! All right, now we need a lip. And I can't think of a better color 
Then our new limited edition Spice of Life lip color. I think it's the perfect complement to this kind of pumpkin spice look. I'm going to put my lip primer on, which is life. And you could line with kind of whatever color you want. This is a kind of a neutral, so like a medium nude would be really good. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with Spice of Life. This is a limited edition matte. And then to kind of finalize it, I always blot with a beauty absorbing tissue. Okay, and for something a little extra fun, I'm gonna take more of these illuminating drops that I used, just a little bit here, and I'm going to put a little bit over top of this lip color. Iridescent. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this pumpkin spice latte inspired look using all of our beautiful colors. And I'm just excited to be back doing these, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Remember, you can follow all of my adventures over on Instagram in between my posts here at Girls, Goals, and Gong Shows. Check up on my blog at girlsgoalsandgongshows.com or you can find me over on Facebook, but I'm definitely much more active over on Instagram. So if you want to hop on over there, click the follow. You can definitely stay up on everything that I am doing day to day in between doing these videos. I hope you all have an amazing week and I can't wait to come back at you soon with some more tutorials and products and fun. Have a great day.